Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaylee and if you're new here, this is my home, this is my narrowboat. Um, she's actually my second narrowboat and I'm currently renovating her to create a lovely home base. So I've always loved traveling and adventure and to do all of that I need a home base to come back to. So I'm doing up my narrowboat, making her into a beautiful home that I'm going to live in while still traveling over the next few years. So I hope that you will subscribe, follow me on Instagram and join me while I renovate my narrowboat home. Let's get into the vlog. Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's vlog I'm going to tackle a job that I've been putting off for so long. I've been putting it off because I'm not really sure what I'm actually doing with it. So it's another one of those projects where I'm just gonna hope for the best. I have watched a couple of YouTube videos so I've got a kind of rough idea on how to tackle this but basically I need to repair and paint the wood burner stove. So originally I said I was thinking about taking this out and changing it for a diesel stove but I've decided to change my mind because if there was a problem with diesel or we ran out of diesel then we wouldn't really have any other heating source. So this way, if I keep the wood burner in, I can still use coal, I can use wood, um, and it just takes off the relying on one thing. So I'm gonna keep the stove, but to do that, I need to do some maintenance on it because the rope around the door is not really functioning properly. You'll see in one of the clips later on, if I put a torch inside and shine a light up, you can actually see the light coming through. So that decreases the um, efficiency of the stove but it's also dangerous because it's letting smoke out into the cab so I need to um, I need to do something about that so I'm going to replace the rope on the stove door um, I'm also going to replace the glass because the glass is really worn and it's got like a kind of seal on it so I need to take the glass out and put new glass in um, and then once I've done that I'm going to paint the whole stove so it's, yeah, it's it's going to look really good actually. So it's not just um, I'm doing it for looks, it also needs to be done for safety and for the efficiency of the stove. So yeah, hopefully it will turn out good. I'm a bit nervous about doing it because I think I could, and I guess I don't really know what I could get wrong because it's letting smoke out at the moment. But you know what I mean. We'll have a go and see how we get on. Let's get into it. So I'm going to begin by removing the door and then cleaning and de-ashing the stove. I've removed the door and I'm just placing it on the table. This is what the door currently looks like so you can see the fire rope has worn away completely and the glass is quite damaged. So I'm going to start by removing the fire rope. I'm going to peel it all the way off. Once the fire rope's off, I need to clean the, the gap where the fire rope goes. So I'm using a wire brush to do this and a screwdriver to take out some of the worst bits. I'm just lightly going over it here because I did take it outside to give it a really good clean. So otherwise it will just fill the boat with dust. So now that I've cleaned it ready for the new rope to go on, I'm going to take the glass out. So the glass has these little clips at each side, so I need to prise these open for the glass to come out. Okay, so the glass is ready to come out. Oh. So you can see around here that it's completely gone. The previous tape has just disintegrated. So I need to peel all this off and then put new tape on. Again, I'm just gonna use a screwdriver to do this. Ready? Once I've finished with the screwdriver, I'm taking the wire brush over it again to clean off the excess. Thank you. 
So now that the door's off, I'm going to start to de-ash the stove. So it's, it's not going to be a nice job. So I've de-ashed the stove. I'm just going to make a start on giving it a clean. So I'm just getting ready to put my first bit of paint onto the stove. Before I start I've just put a bit of masking tape around the top to protect the ceiling paint from the black stove paint. satisfying though. So this is what the stove looked like when it was painted. I did have to do two coats to get the desired finish. This clip shows the finish after one coat of paint. So we're now going to fit the fire rope around the door. So I've already cut this bit to length. So this is about the length that we're going to use and it's going to go tight around the door to create a seal. So I've got my gloves on ready. I'm going to put this glue, which is the fire heat resistant rope glue around the outside of the door. So on the video that I watched earlier today, it's, it recommended to put some tape around the end of the rope, but I don't have any, so I'm just going to tie I've tied a little knot in there and hopefully it'll work okay. So I'm going to get ready to put this rope around the door. So I think I'll do that now. So I'm going to start off in the middle of the door. Press it down. Gently all the way along. Very fiddly. So I've given that quite a hard press because it wasn't really sticking before. So, so far so good. I'm going to pull this bit tighter here because of this lock.
Okay, so I've got this type of adhesive strip for the glass to go in. So that's going to go inside the door around where the glass panel will go. And here is the new, pick it up, the new glass panel. So that's going to go on the inside of the door as well. So the adhesive for the window is going to go around this bit and it goes underneath these little clips which hold the glass in. So the same process with the glue. Apologies for the wind noise, we had the duct hatch open for ventilation. So I'm going to stick this adhesive, uh, this tape down to the glue. Probably should have kept my gloves on. Just going to rip it off at the corners because it doesn't bend, this stuff doesn't. Okay, so the moment of truth. Is the glass going to go in? Hopefully it will. So I need to slide it in. Okay, so I'm going to try and slot the glass in. Hopefully I won't break it. Uh, yay! The glass is in! I think it looks really good now. I've not seen it from this side yet. Looks good! Okay, so I've got the door on the hooks. I'm just going to slide it on. Hopefully. Yay! Okay, so I'm just going to screw this handle back in now. So that's it. The stove has been painted and the door has been repaired. It's been a mission, but we've managed to do it, and I'm really happy with how it's turned out. I think it looks pretty much good as new. So yeah, happy days! So I hope that you've enjoyed this vlog. Like I said at the beginning, this one was a tricky one to do um, because I was a bit nervous about doing it, but I think the results will show for themselves it was well worth it. I've got a safe stove and a stove that looks nice. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you next week. Bye!